working out in Smart Mug 2. When you can't make it to the kitchen to reheat your coffee in the morning, your Ember Smart Mug 2 is there to take care of it for you. To use the Ember Smart Mug 2, just fill it up with your favorite drink, set the temperature using your smartphone companion app, and let the Ember Mug maintain your desired temperature. In this video, you'll see an in-depth review of the Ember Smart Mug 2 from a user's point of view. Now without further ado, let's get into it. In the box, we got the 14 ounce Smart Mug 2. The charging coaster. The getting started manual. And the power supply. What I really like about the mug, outside of its tech features, is that the design isn't over the top. They've kept it simple with a clean, modern look. It's made of stainless steel with a food-grade ceramic reinforced coating. The only indicator that this mug is different is with its subtle LED indicator light found on the bottom of the mug. The LED indicator light is going to be your go-to for quick information about your mug. A pulsating blue LED light indicates that your mug is in Bluetooth pairing mode. A pulsating white LED light indicates that your mug is heating up your beverage to the desired temperature. A solid white light indicates that the desired temperature has been reached. A red LED light indicates that the battery is dying and should be charged. Once you get to this point, you most likely won't be able to maintain your beverage's temperature. When you place the mug on the charging coaster, the LED will start pulsating red, indicating that the battery is being charged. A solid green LED indicates that your battery is fully charged. And then there's the option for a custom LED. Using the app, you'll be able to personalize the LED color of your choice, which you can use to identify your mug when it's picked up. This comes in handy if you have identical mugs within your home or workplace. On the bottom is where the charging contacts are located. And as you can see, it loops around the entire base of the mug, meaning no matter the direction the mug is placed on the charging coaster, it will always make contact and keep on charging. In the center of the mug, there's a clearly marked power button that can be used to not only turn on or off your mug, but also used to pair it to your smartphone or even reset the mug. With the charging coaster, it has a simple indent to keep your mug securely in place and connected to the charging contact. It also has a soft rubber bottom to keep the coaster from sliding around or even scratching the surface that it's placed on. That being said, the rubber does become a magnet for dust and debris. To pair, hold down the power button for about 6 seconds or until the blue LED light begins to flash. Open the Ember app, which can be downloaded from either the Apple App Store or Google Play. Press pair a new device and your mug should pop up with a request to pair via Bluetooth. Once it's paired, the app will start with the mug's current status. When hot liquid is poured into the mug, it will provide you with a live reading of the liquid's temperature. Just below the temperature reading, you'll have a dial which you can use to either turn off the heater or set your preferred temperature anywhere between 120 degrees and 145 degrees. Also available are the temperature presets that you can use to set your preferred temperature with the press of a button. Personally, I found that I like to keep my drink at a steady 145 degrees regardless of the type of coffee or tea that I'm having, so I never needed to use the presets. The tea timer is exactly what it says it is, a timer. Press the time option that you want, it counts down the time, and it gives you a notification when to stop steeping your tea. On the upper right hand side, there you'll find your settings, like personalizing your mug LED, the brightness of the LED, the status of the battery, the temperature setting, whether you want it in Celsius or Fahrenheit, and whether or not you want notifications on. Off the coaster, I'm purely relying off the battery to maintain the liquid temperature. I thought it did a good job of keeping my drink at a constant 145 degrees. Using it at this temperature, I was able to use it a little over 80 minutes before needing to throw it back on the coaster to recharge the battery. At its max temperature, I can easily drink my coffee or tea without having to worry about burning myself. While 145 degrees is hot, I would have liked to have the option to make it a little hotter. In terms of maintenance, simple. Don't throw the mug in your microwave. When washing your mug, make sure to only hand wash it and avoid getting liquid in the charging coaster. After using the mug for about a week, 
I found that I didn't really use the app after setting my initial temperature. Each time I would use the mug, it would just use the previous temperature setting. And I knew when the battery needed to be charged, as the red LED would begin the flash, so I would just throw on the charging coaster if it was close by.